Hello. Today we'll be looking at the combined gas law. The combined gas law is a combination of three laws, Charles law, Paul's law, and the Gay-Lussac's law. What this does, this place all three variables, pressure, volume, and temperature into one equation. Okay. Simply stated, the equation looks like this. P1, V1, T2 equals P2, V2, T1. Based on this, we read the question and make a list of everything that's given to us. The question says, a sample of gas is taken from 2.85 liter container at 65.2 degrees Celsius and a pressure of 3.21 atm to a container with a capacity of 6.85 and a pressure of 2.78 atm what will be the result in temperature okay question mark there the very first thing i do is i make a list a list of what i have a list of what's given to me okay v1 t1 p1 v2 t2 p2 in whichever way you arrange that it makes no difference sample of gas is first a 2.85 container and it's taken to a larger container with 6.85 capacity. That would be V2, the 6.85, and the 2.85 would be V1. The temperature is 65 degrees Celsius at first. Let's convert that to kelvins. And then one, there is what in temperature, which is not given to us. Then I'm given also a pressure of first 3.21 and then 2.78. Given those numbers, I write down my list. Volume 1, 2.85 liters. T1, 65.2 plus 273 to make it into cells, into kelvins, 338.2. Pressure 1, 3.31, volume 2, 6.85. T2, I don't know. And P2, my pressure 2, would be 2.78. I am solving for T2. I want to leave T2 alone. Therefore, I will bring down my pressure 1 and my volume 1. I'm solving for temperature 2, and it says pressure 2 times volume 2 times temperature 1, divided all that by pressure 1 times volume 1. I plug in my values, and I end up with 2.78 times 6.85 times 338.2 all of that divided by 3.21 times 2.85 depending on the calculator that you use you got to be careful that you write parentheses here otherwise you might get a different answer or incorrect one so when i multiply all of that I end up with a final temperature of 300 and 703 kelvins. Okay. The question was, what will be the result in temperature? There's a question mark over here that I omitted to write. Therefore, the result in temperature will be 703 kelvins. This is the combined gas law. I hope this helps you.